Hey guys, it's Maggie Milo here and I'm back with um, the part two lesson for our winter branch painting. Um, so I just wanted to mention a few things I forgot in last video. So um, if you're just joining, this is my virtual art club. These are free online lessons uh, for anybody who wants to learn to paint. So we are beginning our beginner painting lessons. So we're just running, working on a very basic one. Um, I also have a virtual art club Facebook group. So it's Maggie Milo's virtual art club and it's a Facebook group. You can join me over there if you like. There's uh, 43 members currently right over there. Um, I put all the lessons up there. Also, um, there will be additional uh, work to be done or additional videos or any questions that you have or if you're looking for a hands-on help, um, it's any, an easier way for me to kind of share all that information with everybody else. Uh, so if you do need to contact me, um, I know my email is maggiemilo at hotmail.com. Um, if you do appreciate the value of these lessons, I am accepting donations in any denomination and uh, any help is appreciated at this time. So um, we're just going to move on. So this is where we left off in the last lesson. So we just did our background. Um, just make sure it's dry. So if you're not dry, if you kind of tilt it to the light and if you see it's shiny then that and shiny it means it is still wet so just kind of make sure it is still it's dry so what we're going to do is we're going to work on making our main branch and some main beams um, so we're just going to kind of do a little bit of a brief talk about how to do that um, so what you want to make sure is we're going to have a nice little flow coming out of it we're going to get into some tree talk later, but just make sure you don't do any weird angles. I'm just going to show you what a weird angle is. So if I made my tree trunk like that, my tree, tr my branches will not really go backwards because that looks weird. So if we just kind of have them coming out like that, that makes more sense, you know? And then something down like that. But they always, trees grow, they are plants, so they grow with the way the sun, they grow like a plant up and out towards the sun. So that's kind of a little brief disclaimer. So they always kind of like Y off. So if this is our main branch, you can see how it makes a really soft Y and not a hard Y. It's not like that. It's a really nice soft that kind of grow out of the branch. So just nice and soft. Okay. So we're going to start with a darker color first. So we're going to use some of this black to start off with. And um, the only reason why I'm doing that is I do not have any raw umber. If you have raw umber, you can use that to start off with. But I want a really dark brown. So this is burnt sienna. And I'm just going to mix it into the black just so that I can make a really dark brown. OK. That's kind of more like a chocolatey brown. That's a little bit better. Okay, and then if you make shaky, if you have shaky hands, you make the best trees. Uh, so if you feel like your hands are gonna shake, and those of you who have shaky hands, you know exactly what I mean. Uh, so if you're holding the brush and you feel like the hand is gonna shake, let the hand kind of shake. You'll form really nice um, branches. It's kind of got a nice little twist in it and trees are not really perfect, so kind of, really let that tree kind of decide where it wants to go if your hand does shake. Um, my hand does shake, so if you see me kind of pause, you'll see why. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of start, and I'm just gonna build my branch up as I go. And yes, you can see it's kind of scratchy, so that means my brush is dry. So we're gonna get in some water, go to the paint. I'm just gonna see how I'm gonna kind of redo that line over. You can see I'm kind of doing probably about a medium pressure on that brush. And I just need to move my tape for my microphone because I can't really move my head. That's a little better. Okay. That's better. Okay. Okay. So you can see I'm just kind of building up that base of that tree. So I'm going to kind of make him a little bit thinner here. I'm going to kind of follow that line, maybe get a little bit more water. It's 
we're just going to start getting the main branch kind of just set. You can always build off of them, but this is kind of our main one and I kind of give them some like little twists and curves. Stop it right there because we're going to finish it off with another brush. Okay, so let's just kind of keep locking this in. I'm just getting rid of some of this um, really high paint. There's like some really thicker lines in here. Just cleaning it out. You can see I'm just adjusting anything as I go now. Maybe I'll put a branch this way. And my hand shook a little bit there and it made a nice little twist in it. So I'm just going to let that happen. Some more water, some more brown. And you can see I'm just, as I get towards the end, I get just to, um, the tip of the brush so I go from medium pressure to light pressure so as I'm kind of pushing down and as I get to here I'm going to start lifting up on my brush so just kind of pay attention to this movement so I'm going to see about making another branch come down this way so I'm going to just kind of add some paint in this way kind of match that line so I'm kind of medium pressure here medium pressure here and then just kind of I am really light pressure there Okay, so that's going to be kind of two little branches. I kind of think he needs something down in here, maybe. Just a little one. And maybe just a little one, some there. Okay, so you put your round brush back into the water. The only brush I don't want you to ever leave in the water is this liner brush. He doesn't really like it. Um, he If he sits in the water too long, his bristles will end over that way and it's really hard to paint you know straight lines when your brush is like that so uh, when you want to paint with him get him into the water because he's really delicate you don't need to soak his bristles too long so now what you're going to do is you're going to match the line on that tree and I went for medium pressure and you can see how long I'm going with those lines and that's really light pressure just really light on the ends of the bristles in here I'm just gonna add another little branch up in here maybe another one comes up in here some nice little branches just off the top of them so this one here we're gonna have to match them really well so we're gonna have to go full pressure on that brush Okay, get up to about medium pressure. And here I'm at light pressure. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull another line out this way. So you can kind of just get to decide on where you wanna put a few more branches. So I feel like this is kind of a little bare in here. You can kind of see how I kind of like have really shaky hands so it kind of just lets those uh, branches evolve on their own and it kind of makes for a really pretty tree so my shaky handed people trees are your friend so here again I'm gonna follow that line I'm just really following that line so I can fill in some of those holes let's kind of come off of this one in here So notice how the tree branches and the limbs are all kind of just kind of pointing towards the sun, kind of all growing up this way. Some of them can kind of come back down this way even too, but generally all the tree branches and limbs go up. Okay, just remember for every branch that you do, you will have to put snow on so if you get a little branch crazy and it does happen you will have to put snow on them so as many branches as you put on there's as many as you're going to have to cover 
Don't be worried about crossing over branches because that will happen in real life. Let's see if I can maybe cross over. Get a little more brown in here. It's getting too dark. You see how I'm just using a really light hand, very light pressure on that brush. Okay, let's add maybe something up in here. Something has to happen in here. a few more up in here and then I want you to take a stand back before you add any more okay so let's just do this one here he needs a little buddy up in here really a lot of little fussy lines but this will be really good for just giving you some practice with each one of these brushes in great detail okay okay I think that's pretty good I'm pretty happy with it so you just take a stand back from it at this point and what you're looking for is to see if any of say like this branch here might look like it's getting a little too fat because this would be the thinnest part of this branch here and this would be the thickest as well as this would be the thickest so it would just generally go from thinnest to thickest as you went down the tree um, so just a quick little adjustment on there so I'm just going to kind of go back in here and I'm just going to let me thicken up this branch just a little bit. Okay, and that looks a little bit better. Now that looks a little bit more conformed. There's just one little spot right in here and this is the fussy part. Okay, and then we're just gonna stop. So right there is where we're gonna stop the video. We're gonna let this dry. Uh, then when we come back, we're gonna work on the berries. And uh, I think we'll probably have enough time to do the highlight on the tree as well. All right, so I will see you guys in the next video.